Have you wanted to learn the most popular knot for a necktie and how to do it? Well, I'm gonna show you, so stay tuned. Hey guys, Erin here with Wardrobe Hackers, and today I'm gonna be talking about the Half Windsor Knot. It is actually referred to um, as the Full Windsor, but this is the Half Windsor. Even though it's 75% of the Full Windsor, it's still called the Half Windsor. Really strange kind of tidbit of information there, but I'm gonna show you how to do that knot. Now this knot for a necktie is extremely versatile. You can use it for any professional occasion or any um, casual occasion as well. So you could go formal too with it. It's really great all around. All right, let's get started on this. So as usual, you're going to want to start with your wider end of your tie longer than your narrow end. Now, for the half Windsor, you're going to want to take your, your first step is to take your wide end over your, your narrow end. Then we're going to go under the narrow end, just like this, all right? So you're gonna see the back side of your necktie. All right, we're going to loop this up and over into the nice like hole that we've got right here. So we're gonna pull it up just like this. You're gonna see this nice little knot that you've got right here once you cross over. And then you're gonna see again the back of the, the tie here. So as you've got your knot here, you're gonna take this portion of your tie, this wide end again, and it's just going to hide our pretty little knot that we've got right there, okay? So now what we're gonna do, our last step is to take this up and over through, and then you've got a nice little hole right here, and that end of the tie is gonna go right inside easy and as sweet as that. You've got your nice half Windsor knot there, which is really beautiful. It's a great knot that you can, like I said, it can go with anything formal, professional, um, casual. It's a great knot for anybody. It's like I said, it's the most popular knot. Now, a little tidbit of advice. If you end up with one of your ends longer than the other or shorter than the other, then you got to start over. Just is what it is. But look, it only takes a couple of seconds to do and it really does end up beautifully if you do it correctly. All right, so I hope you have found this helpful. I hope that um, this is an easy tutorial for you to learn how to do this half wins or not. If you like what you've seen, you can follow us on YouTube at Wardrobe Hackers. Definitely share, give me some likes if you like what you've seen. I'm Erin with Wardrobe Hackers and we'll see you next time.